Hello and welcome to the Christmas 2017 YouTube Hop. I am so excited to be here with you for this one because it is celebrating the first anniversary since I first put a call out into groups seeing if anyone wanted to do this project with me. I expected to only do one and now we're doing our seventh. This is so exciting. And to celebrate, we've got five fantastic um, sponsors, Corbett Creations, Coco Vanilla Studio, Auntie Vera's Craft, uh, Scrap and Craft, Kidaholic Kits and Scrapping Fun Kits. Um with a nice big prize pool for you so to enter make sure that you um, watch every video in the hop and leave a comment on every video so that your entry is valid and I just want to say I'm sorry if there's any background noise it is really hot so my window is open so here's my project um, <clears throat> just after doing the hop last year I um, had this idea of recording my childhood Christmas I only actually have one photo from Christmas as a kid because um, a lot of photos weren't taken in the 80s but also um, when my mum had the, the, the essential thrombocytopenia building up blood in her brain the pressure made her do some weird things and she threw out all my photo albums <laughs> Um, or, or our photo albums. So what I did was I showed you the photos at the start there. I did a Google image search for like the tree we had and I managed to find one blurry photo in an Etsy listing of a close up of the tree. So you can't see it well on the screen, but it was this, um, this blue and green tinsel tree from like the 1950s or 60s or something. That's what I had in my childhood till probably age 12 or so. And so I also Google image searched the decorations we had because I thought then I could record those early childhood years. I still need to get myself, um, I, today I just got a photo of a mixed bag of nuts in the mesh bag because um, that relates to a significant memory when I was about six of um, St. Nick coming for the first time because um, my best friends, my... Um, were German and my mum and their mum became lifelong best friends. Uh, you know, they were they were friends for decades and so um, some German traditions wound up in my childhood Christmas so I need to record that. And then the other images were <clears throat> once I was about 12 we started going to my aunt's house in Sorrento for Christmas so I would swim at Sorrento Back Beach or at Portsea so I got um, photos of Sorrento Back Beach and photos of the Portsy Lifesavers Club because I used to look at the Lifesavers Club while I was in the water. And then when I was like 14, 13, 14, we started going to my uncle's house at Conjuron Point and I actually found a photo of the block of units <laughs> that he, he owned. He owned two of them. And um, so I've downloaded that, all these from Google, and I've printed them. But I've realised, because I was going to do, like, the whole album for you in this video, but then I realised 4 by 6 is too big. <laughs> So I've got to get them reprinted. So I just am doing the cover. So nice, quick little project for you. And I really didn't know where I was going to start. I literally put the old golden book on the on the desk. Oh, um, about the golden book. When I got this idea, I wanted to put it in a golden book that um, was one that I'd had as a kid about Christmas. So I like put a call out on a bunch of local buy swap sell groups looking for golden books, Christmas golden books. And a lady gave me like five of them. And this was one, this was the only one in the whole lot. That was one I'd had. I think, I think this is a vague memory. <laughs> so I wanted to convert it. Um, <clears throat> So now I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm still recovering from a bug and I am noticing, I think my speech is a bit quick today. I'm having a bit of a, a verbal dyspraxia symptom day, so I'm very sorry about that. But um, anyway, where was I? So I'm decorating the cover of my book. So I didn't know what I was going to do. I put my December, DD kit from Scrapping Fun Kits and my November kit to my left and then in front of me I had some other ons and ends so some like um, pocket scrapping cards from the reject shop from last year and I had um, some I think they're bow bunny brads in front of me and some burlap Christmas trees and then on my right I had some 6x6 paper pads and some wood veneer just to sort of surround myself in Christmas scrapping goodies to inspire me because I didn't know what I wanted to do other than I wanted to make this album. <laughs> so 
I started, oh, sorry, my head's in the way. I started by putting a silver doily on the front and I was going to cut it, but then I realized I could fold it over and it could start the decoration of the inside, which you just thought I added my name and I, I injured my hand last night. So my handwriting kind of looks like a child. So <laughs> it helps with the memory. I decided on one of these, I'm calling them burlap, I don't know, um, Christmas trees that um, I got on clearance last year. They're meant to be a garland. They're really cute, but I thought they'd be great little scrapbooking decorations. Put that there as well as a little wood veneer tree. And I've picked out this gorgeous little flatback resin deer. I love this guy. He's so cute. And I knew the only place I could use him was on my front cover. So he had to go. Because that's what I'm thinking is the front cover is the only place chunk can go. So all the chunk is going there. So I'm just starting with that side there. I, I I wanted to keep a lot of the cover, but I also wanted to cover some of the cover with embellishment because I didn't need it to be the book. I need it to be my memories. So I've actually, I'm adding a die cut from... Kaiser Crafts Letters to Santa, I think it says Christmas Memories on there. Um, because these are my Christmas merry memories, this is my Christmas story. And I'm doing this because I want my kids to be able to look at what my Christmas was. You know, I talk to them about my Christmas. I share things that I did as a kid. Oh, remind One of the other photos I printed was a photo of the crowd at Carols by Candlelight in Melbourne. And of the Maya Music Bowl because we used to watch that every year. Um, I still watch it, but <laughs> um, it was sort of a significant component. It was part of the Sorrento Christmas. So, um, yeah. Um, sorry, I meant to mention that earlier. But yeah, I'm really happy with how my cover turned out. Right now, I'm adding that gorgeous little bit of red lace from the DD kit from Scrapping Fun Kids onto the edge there to. Um, to just give that a bit more. Um, I'm off camera. There was a couple of little tufts that I didn't like that were poking out, but I, so I was just trimming them off. And I'm just adding that. And then I will be done. That will be it. My cover will be done. And then um, off camera, I do some more prep for doing pages, um, such as taking out every second page, sorting photos, that sort of thing. So there is my cover already and I'm really happy with it. I hope you like it. I hope it inspires you to maybe record your childhood Christmas with some Google images if you don't have photos of everything you did. Isn't he cute, that deer? And here is a photo of the Scrapping Fun Kids prize for this um, YouTube hop, which is their standalone DD kit. And there are two unboxing videos of this, so I'll link them below. And there are lots of great prizes from our other sponsors, so make sure you enter and leave a comment on every video so that you've got a valid entry. Hop along to Lauren's video. Thank you for watching.